Oh yeah, hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's that day, you know the one, the new set tradition, where we make the mythic push with an extra long video playing blue, white, control. You know, it doesn't matter what cards are printed. There could be absolutely nothing printed to make blue, white, control better, and I would probably still try to find a way. And blue, white, control as an archetype has been neglected to some extent since the hero of dominaria rotated and many many other colors are shiny right now like mono black and rakdos and jund and grixis you know all the all the black just every single every single potential black color combination deck is extra shiny right now and you know they've got great cards including Liliana of the Veil, which is a real pain in the butt and an absolute slayer of decks like blue white control but we find a way, man. We try to find a way. So here is the build that we're going to run today. And we're going to talk about some new cards. The, well, let, let me cover the simple ones first. Impulse, not really new to me. A boomer like me, I've played Impulse before. But basically your selection card, your two mana play at instant speed to go find something so you can hold up counter magic. And if they don't do something worth it, you go dig for what you need. Land, sweeper, removal, counter spell, etc. Urtai Scorn, our new three mana counter spell, because sometimes it's a two mana counter spell. So the one blue, blue instant counter target spell, no big deal, but it costs a blue less to cast if an opponent has cast two or more spells this turn. And it comes up a little bit more than you think. The place where it's at its best is in counter wars, which are few and far between in the meta right now. But when you play a, a an hour long control versus control game and there are counter wars, you know you want to win them. You really do. So now the new cards that are making a huge impact on the style and strategy of the deck. Number one, Silver Scrutiny. Here's the thing. If people are going to play Liliana of the Veil and all the other discard cards around it, if they're going to duress you and then just try to plus their Liliana and win top deck wars and just make your counter spells bad by making you discard them, there's only one good way to fight that fight. And that's by drawing way more cards than they do. If you have six cards in hand and they have two, plusing their Liliana suddenly doesn't look as beautiful, does it? So that's what Silver Scrutiny does that other cards don't do. And that the reason that this new card is important so that we're casting it in the mid to late game for, you know, three, four, five, six. And then it does fuel the end game because as you approach the end game, the goal with this is to like cast it for seven to 10, draw literally your entire deck, almost your entire deck, and then use devious cover-up loops to keep getting back more counter spells and wandering emperors. So eventually the opponent succumbs to all the counter spells and all the wandering emperor tokens because you just keep getting them back with cover-up after literally drawing your whole deck. That's the end game. So because we have that devious cover-up end game, we can push scrutiny higher and higher throughout the game. And one of the true, uh, I guess it, it's kind of the hold on to your butts moment is when you tap out for that scrutiny because it only has flash if X is three or less. You can only get three cards at flash speed. And I will tell you one of the traps of the deck is to try to do everything at flash speed and just assume that you're always going to draw into more counter spells when you use the draw three. You won't. Eventually you will hit a whole bunch of lands in a row. And in that moment, your opponent will probably resolve some spells and you might lose to them if you didn't do it well. So it is important to sometimes, even if you do have a counter spell, tap this for like, cast it for like X equals seven, you know, something huge on your turn. Leave, what are they gonna do? Play some cards? We'll blow those up with farewell or we'll blow them up with something else. And that's where Karn's Silex comes into play. I have tested way too much blue-white control. Behind the scenes, I've lost a lot of games to black and black-red strategies testing blue-white control. That matchup was abysmal, and I was up to four pithing needles. I was trying temporary lockdown. Um, I, oh my gosh, so many things. This is the first time I'm trying Karn Silex, and what I love about it is it shuts down the last mode of Evolve Sleeper. It definitely shuts down casting Tenacious Underdog for the Blitz cost, which is a huge deal. And you can just use it to destroy each non-land permanent with mana value X or less at sorcery speed on the battlefield. So it kills 
planeswalkers. And that is kind of the requirement. That's the thing that Farewell doesn't do. That's the thing that most of this deck can do. If you look at the deck, Wandering Emperor doesn't kill planeswalkers unless the tokens hit. Farewell doesn't kill planeswalkers, but everything else can. Syncopate, Fateful Absence, Counter, Cover-Ups. Yep. We, I, I am not losing to another ultimated planeswalker for the rest of this format. If this is what it takes, then that's what we do. So we're going to see how Karn Silex holds up and if it solves uh, the major, major weakness of this deck, which is resolved planeswalkers. We're on the final push to Mythic. I'm at Diamond 1. We're trying to get there and I'm just going to dial in and try to make it a really good run. And it takes as long as it takes, man. I'll upload a six hour video if I have to today. Today's video is dedicated to Jason Woody on Patreon, who signed up for the shark token tier. You have a shark and wolf token on their way to you because you're a U.S. resident on the 999 tier. If you would like to do that, Patreon, link in description. And you also get a shout out and a video dedicated to you. Jason Woody, you're cool. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Yo guys, quick break in to my own video to let you know that the Covert Go Blue playmats are back in stock. So if you wanted to get yourself a little something to celebrate my birthday, these beautiful playmats give you plus 10 luck on MTG Arena when used as a mouse pad and plus 10 shuffler bonus at your local game store. Those things are just statistical facts guaranteed. Check out lanterngames.com. So products, official Covert Go Blue play mats. There should be a link below in the description. We only bring in a hundred of these at a time and they're ready to ship wherever they need to be shipped. So get yours today, because once they're gone, they'll be gone again for a long time. And thank you very much to everybody who checks it out. Now back to the video. All right, opening hand, no blue, Hunts Mulligan. All right, second hand. Keeper. Hopefully we hit lands. Going six on the draw. It's a tough job. It's a tough ask. We're gonna try to make it work. What do you know? Tenacious underdog. New card. New card alert here. Let's see if the opponent goes for Liliana. Or Trespasser. Or whatever. Yep, Trespasser. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to blow those up. Just drop a Silex onto the battlefield. Then we're probably taking six, untapping, exiling that, trying to go from there. Can't pay life to cast spells or activate abilities. The biggest one is Underdog. They can't cast it from the graveyard if you just have a Silex sitting on the battlefield. That can be a big deal. Our opponent now has to decide whether or not to deploy anything. If they do nothing, we could just Fateful Absence them and keep the Silex on the battlefield. Gives the opponent tough choices. More likely, though, we just have to blow this up and force them to take a little bit of a turn off. Just do nothing here. And that's what they do. All right, so... We'll see what the follow-up is. It might just be an Invoke Despair, in which case we don't have a Counterspell anyway. So gain a little life. This Activate as a Sorcerer is BS though, man. It's BS. They might use their own removal spell on the Underdog, which they should. They don't, okay. Oh, it's destroy. It's not even exile. Lame. All right, don't invoke despair me on curve. Don't just curve up one, two, three, four, five, cast invoke despair win. Please don't. Please. Please. Just, you know, underdog. Yeah, you know you want an underdog. Yeah, there you go. All right. I mean, that keeps the pressure reasonably low. Okay, we drew a counterspell. All right, underdog again. I, I'm taking it again to draw three, I think. 
Uh, mm, maybe not. Maybe the absence is the right play. Untap, draw four. But not while we have a counter spell. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take our draw three here. We need a Wandering Emperor. That's our solution to underdoggy problems. Okay, they just go to end step. Not doing much, and that's good for us. Hopefully these three cards are fresh. Memory Deluge, okay. Definite hard mode going on right now. Way too many lands. You care to underdog again with your full grip over there? Liliana. So, here's the thing. I think we just let that be? Because we need to counter Invoke Despair, right? And now we have Deluge, we have Fate, like... Both sides are going to have access to a ton of counter spells. Both sides are going to have a, more counter spells than they need for sure. Not counter spells, but more uh, cards than they need. I mean, are you going to minus? Probably not. <laughs> Don't overthink things. Don't overthink things. It goes for you too. Meat hook. Just chilling? Cool. Let's start finding some good cards. There's a whole bunch of cards. Um, This is another way to counter something. Could hit that underdog. Sounds really good. And Liliana can die. Fine. I'll take my zombies and leave. <laughs> Would have been really nice to find a Silex, though. But this turn is probably going to be finally counter that Stinking underdog. Getting stuck on five lands. That is probably the best thing that's happened for us in this game. Means we should be able to outpace them and just hit them with a lot of, like, a removal spell and a counter spell every single turn. All right. They can't pay two. Could draw two here. Greed. Stay greedy. Stay greedy, my friends. This deck really needs it. Wandering Emperor, good draw. Solution for the next underdog that's sure to be on the way. We really don't want to counter anything that we absolutely don't have to because Invoke Despair is just going to drain us right out. But we might be seeing the positive effects of the opponent having a lot of removal spells in their deck to win the Black Mirrors, like... Trying to keep Sheldred from happening. Liana of the Veil. Uh, once again, I think this is fine. And, you know, uh, we, we draw a bunch of cards. And then we can discard. I guess we could do that first, but I really kind of want to flash this back. I guess this is going to be in the graveyard for another turn cycle, and it's better next turn. So we'll go one, two, three. Wait a minute. If we play Wandering Emperor here, we can't quite kill her. I'm trying to think if there's an easier way to get rid of her. Like these decisions are a lot harder than I think people give credit for. So let's, yeah, let's just draw three here. No pithing needle yet. This can resolve because we have a lot of cards. Something suspicious is going on. And for once, it's not my fault. Kill it again. I knew this was a waste of time. You won't be outsmarting me. Drop off a of plane. Another cut down in the bin. There's a devious cover up off the top. We're sitting pretty. We're doing okay. Just try to hang on to your counter spells for the right things. Invoke Despair is definitely a right thing. Wandering Emperor is like a, remover, a removal spell on an underdog. We've hit about three or four land drops in a row that they haven't, so that's good for us. This can come down. Maybe we're walking to a farewell now. There's plenty of things we want to get rid of. The next mid-game risk we need to mitigate is just running out of cards. As weird as that sounds with the memory delusion in the graveyard and having cast Silver Scrutiny twice, but you need to start looking for a scrutiny that we can cast. So they can exile... Well, if they target the deluge, we'll just cast it. And since I'm planning to farewell here, this is fine. 
They might take one of our scrutinies, though. Ah, they're going for the creature. Yep. Interesting that they didn't pick anything from the graveyard. That's probably just a misclick. See? See? You can get these sequences where you draw way too many lands in a row. Um, hmm. So we're going to farewell. And then we have a couple of scorns and a cover up. So we can take the cove here. One life could matter. All right, artifacts, creatures, enchantments, gone. And a little point of life there. All right, cast your invoke despair. I dare you. I do find their land drop. If they blitz an underdog here, it'll be awkward. Because they can pay for syncopate. There's the despair. All right. Let's go ahead and use the scorn. Uh, I think let's get the syncopate cast while it's good. It becomes harder to hold it up as the game goes on. The opponent will eventually start hitting lands. <clears throat> All right, we're out of card draw. We do know that the bottom of our deck is just like from about here down is land. So just need to hold on. I think I save this for an underdog no matter what. Don't even, I know it's weird, but not. don't even cast the Wandering Emperor in that spot, right? Let's hold the impulse, see what our opponent does. Man, it's so hard to play these. Like, every decision matters. Don't don't play this on the toilet. There you go. There you go. Okay. There's a Silex. I'm going to play this out now because we're probably about to pick up a lot of cards in our hand. So next end step, I'm going to launch an Emperor, whether they have the underdog or not, because we need to unload our hand a little. Then I'm going to untap into a very large scrutiny. Hopefully they take some action, which unlikely given that the Silex is on the battlefield, but hopefully they take some kind of action so we can fire off these counter spells. Yeah. What do you do with the Silex sitting on the battlefield? Just no bad things are going to happen. Underdog, no blitz. Underdog, no blitz? Okay. I mean, I asked for a spell. That'll do. Get back scrutiny. Get back scrutiny. And then the other things we want are ways to make sure that we find the scrutiny. And I guess... Farewell? I mean, it's expensive. I, I guess we'll take the absence. All right, we're on end step. Let's throw our first Wandering Emperor at our opponent, who will probably love throwing removal spells at her. You're just underwhelming. Those removal spells are just sitting there. We must protect the people. Yeah. All right, opponent has March of Wretched Sorrow. Still have much to learn. Hey, we have to get through all this stuff, so this is both expected and welcome. Syncopate. All right, this is a draw seven, right? Because we want just enough mana to use the scorn. So yeah, draw seven. Overdraw your hand. You'll always draw enough land to discard. Eldred. We can Fateful Absence that. No problem. Impulse. See what we find. And another Scrutiny. Now we're out of 25 cards in the deck, so we are definitely on the move now. Children down. 
Another syncopate off the top. Let's pass this turn. We'll play a Wandering Emperor, draw some of their ire, hopefully cast a counter spell or two, then continue the party. The devious cover up is in the graveyard now, so we can't. We, now on the list of must counters are trespassers. Fortunately, we have enough counters. So that's another tight rope you have to walk in these matchups. That's. Ugh. Shake down heavy. I think we just have to start countering spells. Otherwise, they're just going to get discarded from our hand. To me. And don't panic because our library is getting small. It This is by design. We actively are trying to get it down to almost nothing. Keep so, to do cover-up loops. And just keep bringing back Wandering Emperors. Yep, this is fine. Get him to deal with these, counter a few more things, then cast another huge scrutiny. Okay, they're not doing it. They're not doing the thing! Alright, we drew a scrutiny, that's nice. I think I'm going to start countering removal spells at this point. But you can see how bad syncopate gets at the end of the game. We could use it as a counter here, but man does it take up a lot of, uh, a lot of mana. All the Infernal Grasps. Okay. Uh, six? Yeah, we can make him pay six here. We still have a counter spell open for whatever they top deck. I have got new moves to teach you. I think I said digging for Pithing Needle. I'm pretty sure those aren't in this version. I just had a brain fart. Somebody, somebody left a comment. I know you guys. You're not fooling me. All right, they drew another removal spell. <laughs> Nothing else is going to hold priority like that. Uh-huh. Pay eight. Oh, you can't. <laughs> All right, closing in. Closing in. Yep, it's it's always difficult, but it feels so good. I'm making my mythic push. May I go first? Nope. Denied! Silex on the play is so much better than on the draw. Okay, Epicur, Epicur. Could be Anvil. Could be Anvil. Could be Mono Red. Just, you know, Vampire Beat. Okay, fun. Everybody's having fun. You're, you better have fun. Phoenix Chick. Playing around Syncopate perfectly. Awesome. Down to 12. Do I take a Lightning Strike? Uh, let's see. I feel like we have to play the Silex here. But I'm not positive. We really needed Wandering Emperor there, and I'm thinking about, do we take the Impulse to try to find it? And I think the answer is no. I think I'll take the cheap card, the Absence. All right. This is the part where we end up at a really low life total and then try to recover. No Lightning Strike face. Ooh. All right, great. Well, no choice, forced. And game. Going second is really hard, guys. <laughs> we had a perfectly cheap playable curve and it did not matter at all. So that's why uh, when you tech your deck to beat the black decks, you just auto lose mono red. On the play. Rock and roll. All right, no turn to play here, but if we play this, it'll hold priority when they cast something because of scrutiny. We just want to make them think we had options. 
What the heck is going on here? Well, I don't know, but I'm going to try to resolve this. That should at least give them pause. Nothing. All right, we pass. Fairy who slows the sunset. I mean, with this on the board, do I really care? Asking me to use that mana, though, at sorcery speed sometime could be a problem. We can just wait. Of course, it gets really hard to syncopate their threats if they have extra mana from Teferi, so let's not. Timeless Lotus. Well, we're blowing that up. <laughs> that ain't gonna stay. Um, we could try to impulse into a counter spell so we don't have to use the Silex, but I'm pretty sure we're just using it. The problem is, what if they play another one? Some Timmy is just gonna run all of these, right? So, do we try to hit a counter spell here? No, I think we try to find farewell and then just next turn we'll tap out and go from there. All right. Well, that's interesting. I definitely want to hit my land drop next turn. Is taking another counter spell even good? Let's go like this. They have to tap out for this again. That's pretty good for us. Gives us another turn to impulse. Keep getting set up. Because if we can ever crack this and have some kind of interaction open, that's what we're talking about. That's the way. Here it is again. Wandering Emperor, there's the syncopate. Mm, Wandering Emperor, pretty slow in this matchup. At not a lot of good targets. Doesn't pressure the opponent very well. Boom. All right, let's hope they cast a six or seven drop into the syncopate. Very unlikely, I'd say. Very unlikely. But who knows? Yeah, played around it perfect. So how many types do they have? Just one. It's not like a hit from this is the end of the world. Uh, play this. Then next turn we can blow it up again. Or we've got them out of blue. We could do a draw five. Could do a draw five, but then these syncopates do nothing. They're not doing much as it is. All right, let's get this down again. Uh, you get this or this. You want to cast that to get rid of the Silex? Because that would be nice. Maybe they do. I mean, what else are they going to do with it? They could also get rid of the Memory Deluge. You want this, don't you? Yes, you do. All right, no spell pierce. Good. Two Silex activations for five in this game so far. Mania. Let's see if they get around another Syncopate here. Syncopate not looking its best in this matchup where the opponent's going very big. Yeah, right now their five drops do get around it. Fairy gets around it. Digging for cards. Do you think they run counter spells or are they just trying to go to the moon? 
kind of like a ramp deck without green. Wow, good assortment of options here. Nice to send those three lands to the bottom, isn't it? That's not a good draw. Not in this spot. All right, so I think we're passing and then hoping to cast this Memory Deluge. But Syncopate's looking really bad. Oh, okay, they want two? Two you can have. They might have a few of these in hand. <laughs> I guess they're just passing here. All right. May I has cards? Negate. Okay. All right, they do run counter spells. This game just got a lot worse for us. They are up cards. We are not. So they passed a turn. What are they doing here? They have their own memory deluge. Uh, three mana open. Let's try asking them to pay four. Okay, they don't have any counter spells now. Let's hope that we can make it to the next turn and cast this for a huge draw effect. They got two looks. They've been hitting the lands for a while now and they did draw some extra cards, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, ooh. we go for this? We go for the counter? Let's attempt to draw four. We need them. We need them bad. Okay, no counter spell. Starting to turn it around. Now we're even on cards. Now there's a stick. They drew something that interacts. But if it's a negate... Ah, oh, they're getting three cards. Okay. <laughs> but this resolves. All right, let's grab a Silex and a cover-up. Silex seems to be pretty good at stopping them from their onboard planeswalkery artifacty stuff. Oh, do we go for it? If we go for it and they go like counter and another draw three, that's really bad for us. Let's wait. A little patience here. A little patience. I don't know what the win con is over there. We've only seen a Sphinx of Clear Skies, but we know they're a timeless Lotus deck. All right, I think we just take land here. We wanna keep making land drops. Weird to put all those fateful absences on the bottom, but when you already have a Silex down, seems okay. One of these can go. Oh, two of these can go? In that case, I'm also gonna drop this absence. All right, 27 cards to 30. Both devious cover-ups in hand, waiting for targets. Card draw spent. Who's winning? I don't know. And how many counters do they run? <laughs> we stare. We stare like none you have ever seen. Okay, two scrutiny is kind of weird. Actually, we can discard the syncopate, I think. Not what you want to be fighting these wars with, syncopate. Let's just try to hit land drops with this. Okay, hard mode. All right, let's send a wandering emperor. We gotta start drawing out some action. Our hand is just getting bloated. What I give for a reliquary tower. Well, our Wandering Emperor is on the board, but I have a feeling not for long. Talking. 
20 cards to go. Do something, opponent. Okay, Firestorm. I think we have to start fighting over this because we have both the counter spells and the backup. So let's start working on them. They probably have a number of these in hand that we're going to have to work our way through. But they're expensive and clunky and sorcery speed. They're only, they're at 11. They really have to force all of this. And then we can be the one who reloads with a scrutiny if we do it right. Lockdown? I mean, that just gets rid of the tokens. But they're at four cards now. We want to fight this or we really want to take this down. Scrutiny, scrutiny, counter, counter. <clears throat> Scorn on it. Okay, do I try to... I don't fight this with the cover-up for sure. But let's go for another scorn and see just if we can run them completely out of gas. Yes. Yes. Sweet. Remember your training. So I think I want a bit, like, how much do we want? One, two, three, one, two. So we want six. Yeah, like six here is good. Uh, determined so we can play an Urtai's Scorn when we get one and also a cover up. Or we can just go land and have the mana for it. Mm mm mm. Feels so good. <clears throat> we are on one counter spell. Dicey. Opponent going to pass. Let's try an impulse. See if we can locate more counter spells. Indeed. Go for lethal. I have got new moves to teach you. Hole breaker horror. Yeah. Scary. Three cards left. Let's see if we can kill it. Can we kill it? Okay, target. You gonna save the whole breaker horror? You have the mana to recast it, I guess. Nope, they're going for the token. Um, maybe I should counter this so that the whole breaker, like the impulse, doesn't resolve while whole breaker is on the stack, and they can't chain instance. Hullbreaker Horror, huh? March and bounce what? Return target and online permanent, targeting itself. So, do we have any more absences in the deck? We have one. We could try to draw it here. I think what might be better is just trying to put a whole bunch of absences back into the deck with the cover up. Looks like that's going to resolve. So we want one cover up and all the absences to fight this whole breaker horror. All the absences we can get anyway. And we'll take another scorn. Bounce. Counter. Absence whiffs. 
Three points. Hit. All right, we don't have any counter spells and there are 19 cards. So I think we just take our draw five here. Try to get a whole bunch of absences and counters for the next fight. Oh, looks like we're going to fail. At least to find absence. I'm going to get a beautiful turn here, but they're down to one from their pain lands. Let's see. Can the lobster bring it all around? Here is Teferi. Yeah, they need to take out the Silex. If they don't, nothing beautiful will ever happen to them. So one card left, and they're going to plus. They're not going to dig. So they can attack the Wandering Emperor. Okay. I'll be back. Back up to Fairy. Sure. Um, they can bounce that token. They could also bounce the first to Fairy. Like, that's a nice little loop where they can go to Fairy Minus, bouncing to Fairy, to Fairy Minus, to reload, but they didn't do it. All right, they really need an instant in their top three, like badly. But they only have one card, so Emperor's stacking should be good. No! Farewell, my graveyard! 14 cards to 23. Uh-oh. All right, there's the loop. Fortunately, we have two Wandering Emperors and two counter spells still. And they bounce the horror. Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, they did have a plan, didn't they? Okay. Now, this just got really hard. There are... Three fateful absences here, and our opponent is at freaking five. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, what's the play? I don't think I deploy anything here, even though it can be on the battlefield. It just gives the opponent more things to bounce. This Teferi's gonna minus. We can untap, activate the Silex, that would force action to save the Teferi. We can also try to draw those fateful absences. Okay, okay, okay. We'll just uh, try to force it on end step. Man, am I going to lose this? I could lose this. I feel like I should still find a way, but man, has their... Their end game here has gone very well for them. Out of nowhere. This freaking lobster. Just uh, an absolutely staggering turn. Absolutely staggering sequence of events. Resolves. Okay. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. May your blade strike true. Don't want to deck, but we do need more resources. Oh man. Okay, we should we should be able to make a lot of things happen here. I'll try to keep this from getting a card. We know they're going to play the horror, right? No, they're not. Okay, and we know it's coming. We must protect the people. They might say go. Okay, they're trying to protect the horror. They're trying to get another look, but we attacked the Teferi there to keep it from uh, minusing to dig deeper. Very important. All right, now they have two cards to back up their Teferi, or to back up their Hullbreaker Horror. They have one Fateful Absence. Here's a Wandering Emperor. No, absolutely not. But how to start the fight? Let's start with a Devious cover-up. I mean, actually, it's our last cover-up, so we don't want to start with that at all. <laughs> we want we want when we cast it for us to get multiple things back. All right. Nine cards. Let's go for another three. Opponent 
Let's that resolve. Okay. Seven. Could go for lethal. Do we have it covered? If we go for another wandering emperor here, make another creature, attack all. We still have a lot of mana left. And it would be the opponent's second spell, so these would be cheap. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Gutsy plays. Let's do it. So, do I untap? And tap. Remember your training. Face is the place. Yeah, we know about you. Is that last card an instant? Probably. It's an impulse. All right. Two things. Thing number one, die. That's thing number one. Thing number two, no impulse. Everything's getting countered from here on in. Everything. Blue cracks. We can't save this token though, so the opponent's going to three. Five left. All right. I'll probably chuck this. Let's just kill it. I guess on upkeep. They'll get three looks at cards, but we have two counter spells. Both of them castable. So they would need quite the series to get out of this. We've seen it before. Will we see it again? Opponent. Temporary lockdown would save you, right? Okay. Get back Scorn, Scorn, Wandering Emperor. If this gets countered, it's so bad for us. But they only have one card, so it's not getting countered. Timeless Lotus, you got it. Pleasantries exchanged. You done. Woo! Hard work, man. Hard freaking work out here for this deck. Nothing like losing in four turns than winning in 40 turns to stay at the same rank. <laughs> this is a tough hand, but Hey, we can cast the whole thing. And on the draw, you really just need a counter spell on turn two so badly. Okay, looks like domain pile. Nothing will resolve. Nothing I say. Okay, that will. God, how do they always play around it? I wouldn't counter that dog anyway, to be clear. I would never take someone's dog. Is it Zergo Burr? One of the finest blue-white decks in the meta. No weddings. Zero weddings allowed. That's a handful of nope. Some of you are just like, oh, this is the dream. You'd be right. That's fine. <laughs> Eventually, I'll deal with your Fidos. Got anything for this? Rude. Okay. Well. <laughs> Something was going to get it. We'll see if they counter all of my card draw. Huh. 
All right, test you again. How much is this dog go? You know, like Drago, but it's dog go. Yeah, yeah, nice top deck on the land there. Scared me for a second. Gotta hit every land drop. In the mirror like this, need every single one of them. That's why ooh, these dogs are such good dogs. Helping you hit those lands. Let's go for Emperor. See if we can draw a counter spell this way. Nope. At least give the opponent something to use those spells on. Get them to start playing that hand. I don't think we minus to take out a spirited companion. I don't think so. All right, one mana remove a thing. Awesome. Seems good. Until next time, then. We do have farewell in Silex, though. That'll be good against this. Okay, another emperor is nice. Maybe the next one will minus on these little companions. All right, cut down. Yeah, let it go, let it go. Are we on six mana? I could go for this. Try to hit a land with it. I guess if they play a spell here, it's their second spell and we could counter it, so... Okay. We will try. No land. No land. Ugh. Okay. Okay. So we're going to end up discarding a hand size. I think I do want the farewell. Maybe I don't want the syncopate. More wandering emperors can't be too bad though. All right, shields are down. Let's see what they do. If they double spell, we can counter the second spell, but their first spell is good to go. Death by cute dogs. Oh my gosh. All right, no plays and no lands. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll move to the opponent's turn. Cycle again for me. Nope. All right, we're going to Wandering Emperor in combat. I think what they're going to do is either counter it or try to remove the token, which turns on Irtai's Scorn for their second spell. Run away. You'll be safer. Yeah, let's keep trying to get the two for one out of them, make them deal with the token and make them deal with the Emperor. Keep watch for intruders. Yep. We go to eight. Just nothing but spirited companion beat down. I still got a planeswalker to figure out. No, they refuse to figure it out. There's a land. Took a minute, but we got there. Let your blade do the All right, talking. try to pass through our turn. It's another two permanents for them to figure out. Just having no problems with these knights, aren't they? Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see how they want to attack us. But we've got them down to four cards. I'm trying to get to a spot where I know this farewell will resolve. I'll be back. Land, three cards. Sarah Paragon. What can they cast from the graveyard here? Nothing, they played their land. Oof, I feel like I'm supposed to counter this. It also makes me want to counter Devious Cover Up on a three mana card if I get the chance.
Could wait another turn and play around Make Disappear, but I want them to play Make Disappear here. So I can hit him with the Farewell and get back this Emperor. Okay. Finally, I'm home. Nice little chess match we've had. I still feel like we're going to win it. Even though they've got so much removal here. Okay, Ley Line, and they still have two mana open. But now we can pay... But we can't, we could get negated. So let's keep waiting. Let's keep waiting. We've got these deluges to bring back. They have to keep clearing the way for the dogs because they're still one ones after all. Wedding announcement. That's one of the cards that can change things. You back in the deck. You back in the deck. You and I guess you. Just don't take syncopates. They're too too expensive in the late game. You don't want to be top decking those all day. Huh? Have we hit have we hit where they can no longer can the dogs no longer move forward? Can they no longer be the aggressors? Is that where we are now? Then there's no pressure on this farewell. Here's Zer. So Zer can animate these. That's yeah. That we're not no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Gotta go. Let's scrutiny three. Alright. Yeah, they're naked now. They got nothing. Just the enchantments. I am the Emperor's Kami God. I will guard to me. Scorn ready for the next thing. It's a cruelty of Gix. Yeah, or mm, uh. Okay, none of that, please. Game. Almost got attacked to death by Fido there, but found a way out. All right. Trying to get in that mythic run zone where we pick up all the victories. Ooh, we're on the play. Yes. Yes, please. Counter, counter, counter on the play. Riveteer's Outlook. Jund? We go in Jundi? There's a Silex. Play something, I dare you. Not what I was hoping for, but since it's likely to take a counter anyway, let's just get it. Two swamps. It's interesting. Do we slam the Silex? They already showed us. They like to hate the hand. I don't think so. They might just play a Liliana here. Let's hold. What is going on, though? Okay, they are Jund. I, I was starting to wonder when they fetch two black. Harvester. Sure. Something's got to resolve at some point. We can take some points from this for a little while. We need to set up our land. We don't want to miss this next land drop. And I want that memory deluge, but. Ooh, do I take the memory deluge, slam the Silex, hope to top deck land? Hope, hope is not a strategy. I've been mana screwed way too many times. Would have had it though. <laughs> All right. I don't think we're in any danger of getting tightened or something else of absolutely devastating renown here. The opponent might be able to remove this, though. They're playing green. Green is different. Gotta try. Cut down to the bin. We got a reader. 
Yeah, I can just blow up your stuff. It's really nice. You want to play a fable into it? Another harvester? Sure. Now I only have to blow it for two if I want to kill these. And I do get two for one from the Silex. I think they're trying to hit land, which we take those. We do take those. Unfortunately, them not hitting land does mean they have lots of spells and we don't have any card draw yet. So please play a Lord Wing Grace. Something I can syncopate here. Played around it. We always play around it. I think I'm letting them at this point use their fable letting them attack me with this. It's only two points. They get to make treasures, but hopefully Farewell will clean it all up when the moment comes. We just have to stall to hit lands and card draw. We are so thirsty for card draw. So they have five relevant cards, I'm sure. They might have a few lands now because they did use the Fable, but I'm sure they have five relevant cards. Four relevant cards. <laughs> I want to get the syncopate played. Cruelty? Cruelty is a good target. Three for good measure. Don't think it matters there. All right, there's the land setting up farewell. Don't want to let this reflection get too crazy. I also don't want to have to farewell just a reflection of the mirror breaker if they do nothing here. We need to start. We just need to stall for the card draw. We need time. Oh, sweet. Sweet. They might have another one. Oh, they might have another one. And we won't have the counter spell for it. I guess we're going to get the treasure, so they'll have to top deck a land. Do we go graveyard? They've got some stuff for Lord Windgrace. We don't need ours. Hit it all. So satisfying. And let's see their follow up. Untapped land. Titan number two? No. Okay, dodged a bullet. Now we just have to find card draw. They can flood out, man. If you if you stop the initial push, they can flood out. I've played a good amount of my ladder with Jund. There was kind of this ugly pattern where I would wreck my ranking trying bad control brews and then fix it with Jund. So I've played the deck a good amount. And I do know that it gets to these spots. It can flood out. I'm gonna... I, do I take this? Wandering Emperor is nice and all, but that's like trying to win. Let's take the Silex. It can solve any situation on the battlefield. Let's not play it yet, though. Let's make sure we flash this back. They might run Trespasser. That's game. Ooh, Jund is a scary deck. All of the black base decks are super scary. All right. Impulses have to fix this draw because it's not great, but being on the play, we can just throw a Silex out there on three and it might carry. All right. How many lands do you think are in our top nine cards? I've missed land drops in this spot before. Double impulse, just complete whiffs. All right. Not this time. Not this time. Still don't have any card draw, so that's what we want to dig up next. And yeah, just slam it. See what the opponent wants to play. Uh, let's get this first counter spell used, I think. They'll probably go for like Liliana or something. Or Trespasser, which is a real pain in the neck.
Okay, here's Liliana. And I guess we'll try to pressure her with the Emperor. Those who get in my way tend to regret it. Can let the farewell go. It's too expensive. There's nothing on the board, and the Silex covers it. Also doesn't have planeswalkers. Grasp down. I've learned much during my let your blade do the talking. Alright. Two creatures. Watch for intruders. Hit the Liliana, so now the minus will remove her. The wrong day to cross me. Drop the Silex. Hopefully Impulse finds card draw and we are in a great position. Because we're still two turns away from the Invoke Despair. They also can't blitz the underdog while the Silex is on the field, which can matter when they're trying to just remove our stuff. So that they can hit the Emperor. What you gonna do, Lily? I have a feeling you're just gonna throw yourself away to kill one of the samurai. March, you got it. I guess that's that. Discard. Don't want to show them the impulse. I want them to at least think about counter spells here. Ooh, we got a creature out of them. That's good for us. And there's the underdog. There's our card draw. Even though we can't quite kill Lily this turn, we have to take card draw. Oh, we can kill Lily this turn. Beautiful. Not great for Invoke Despair, that's for sure. You've done it. That's coming. But got her off the field. Alright, so do they hit land number five into Invoke Despair? Yep, easy. At least they only get one card. And now we'll see what kind of pressure they can put on the board. Or if they just have another invoke. Sheldred. Okay, we might hit a syncopate. Let's go for this. No syncopate. Card draw and wandering emperor. I guess those are the takes. The bad thing about the card draw, of course, is the Sheldred. Might have to just Silex it away. Cover up. Okay. I don't think I activate this yet. The opponent's not in a position to attack with the Sheldred unless they want to lose it to an Emperor. Okay, then. I think we just do it now. We could take the damage and try to hold the counter spell, but if they had another Invoke Despair, they would have played it last turn. I think. You're done. Yep. Yeah. No blitzies. You'll love to see the no blitzies. Uh, make the 2 2. The opponent has spot removal. They just use it on the 2 2 and then they hit for 3. I have enough life total though. Could also activate this for two, but then they can then they can blitz. But if they blitz, we can devious cover up. It's expensive. Ooh, I don't want to give up my Silex for that though. I'll give up the Wandering Emperor. It's fine. I'll be back. All this is on the field. They can't underdog. Do the At least not from the graveyard. Yeah, removal, of course. If they give me something to cover up, we do it. If not, scrutiny, draw three. Really get things moving. They only have one card left here. It's a sleeper. Ooh. Okay, I've got the Silex, and I don't really want to use it very much, but I think we let that resolve. One, one, two. They can't draw a card with it this turn. I think I can find a sweeper. I'm I'm putting faith in my deck to find a sweeper or we'll use the Silex. 
Okay. Counter spells we has. So we can devious cover up both underdogs when they blitz them. That's what makes uh, using the Silex here a no-brainer now. Get me back those wandering emperors and that card draw. They drop a castable here, a one or a two. Hmm. What would hold priority there? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's lock out that other underdog. Yes. Oh, what? You don't like not being able to blitz your dogs? Home stretch. Good hands. Good hands on the play. Let's let me uh, wrap this mythic video up. What do I need? Two wins? I think. On the play. It'll work. It'll definitely work. We need the land, but Impulse will get it. Please not mono red again. Oh no. The matchup we just can't seem to win. Just to have a shot against black, it feels like we have to make our deck so bad against red. And that hurts. Ooh. What? Okay. Okay. Red, black, phoenix, chick is not something I'm familiar with. White, 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 white. We're gonna need another land, but let's drop this. Please land. Please don't mana screw me on this one. Don't mana screw me. Oh, right into it. I guess it's all haste every day, so why not? No! Okay. Uh, if we blow it up here, bad things probably happen. I think I'm just going to try to draw my land. And I think I'm going to do it now. Because I don't want to use this yet. Okay. I'm not going to miss the land drop this turn. Could Silex just the chicks there? Sounds pretty bad to me, though. I really want to get them in this position where they don't want to play their Thundering Riju or whatever, because then we blow everything up. So they try to get cute and play around it, and that lets me play Wandering Emperor. No Lightning Strikes. Good. Come at me. Let's go. Let's do this. Here they come. All right. There's Emperor. I think we just focus on life total, especially since if only the chicks are on the field, it's only one mana to blow them to kingdom come. Lane Bless Bolt takes out the Emperor, but do I get my two life? I do. Okay, ten life. Land. Three cards in hand. Okay, we got out of a very scary turn. Now we blow. Man, do I wish this exiled, though. It's like the only miss of the card. But we are ready for whatever creatures they've been slow rolling. Oh, do I counter that? I think I let that be. I have to find another way to deal with that. If they do nothing here, we get the Deluge, so that's fine, too. Another Silex and an Impulse. Uh, take the land. Let's grab the Silex. We can counter the creature they play next turn. With the Scorn. And we can be set up to blow this for one again. If they sneak some stuff through. But nine life is not much. We need more Wandering Emperors. This lightning strike hurts really bad. All right, down to six. I want to ask three cards. Hopefully one is a land. At least one. 
Yes. Pass turn. No play. Wow. All right. Well, with all this mana open and two counters, we're just going to kill that Kumano faces Kakazan. Easy. Why did it use the blue and not the white? Should be fine, because if they double spell, we can lead with this and then cast this for one blue. Hook. Don't think I care about Hook. If nothing resolves, I don't care about Hook. Interesting aggro deck the opponent has here. All right, that gets exiled. Wandering Emperor, hello. The awkward part is we have to start thinking about the opponent uh, having double lightning strike for the rest of the game. So flashing back memory deluge is risky. This is not. Anything they put on the stack, I'm countering it. Lightning strikes, all of it. We're up like several spells on them now. We could play Wandering Emperor. Let's wait. That can hit Graveyard. Let's try to get the Memory Deluge flash, flashed back before we clear the chicks from the yard. Squee. Squee. All right. If you pay four, you can have it. Good old syncopate. Yeah, it is nice. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. We chill. We chill. I'll deploy the Wandering Emperor at some point. I would really like to gain life with it. The opponent not cooperating. Man, they have sack lands and cycle lands. Okay. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Trespasser 2. A bizarre deck. Again, they've got two lands. Let's just do it. I mean, I know it can gain life, but let's try to push it. Alright, they have something that can target a creature, because there wasn't any priority stick until the creature showed up. Scoop him up. Okay. <laughs> Scary. Scary, but got the job done. One win to go. Final boss fight. Let's do it. All right. I got a completed a Johnny avatar as my final boss. And we have to do it on the draw with a really slow hand. A really slow hand. But as two wandering emperors, which is one of the only ways I keep hands this slow. So because they're the only thing that can like bridge that gap. Enchantments. Farewell is good against them if we can get there. Wandering Emperor is usually very good against them. Oh, hey, we can play that on turn two, but we can't stop the opponent from ramping. Oh, they don't ramp. They lead on the Kami. I guess that's pretty good for us. Please don't. Okay, they didn't double spell. This is all going okay. Farewell is there. We will take it. Now we have a game plan. Survive until we can say farewell. Two Wandering Emperors should do that job. 13. They say go. I mean, we could flood out. It is... I guess I'm not casting Scrutiny here, but then I'm not going to cast it for a really long time if I don't cast it here. And I do need to make sure I get to this farewell. So, all right. Feels weird, man. Feels weird. Silex. That could be interesting. I'm 
I'm going to keep the shields up. The opponent's been passing the last few turns, so it feels like they don't want to commit anything extra. So let's not play this until end step. This also might mean a Tamiya safekeeping. Now you've done it. If it is a Tamiya safekeeping, we can minus here, make a 2-2, two -two, untap, then go for the Emperor thing. I think I like that. We must protect the people. Because now we have counter magic available. Ah, touch the spirit realm. All right. A counter spell won't stop that. It does reset the Kami, though, which isn't that bad for us. Could play this Silex here. Is that or the, another Wandering Emperor? I think we'll just stick with the Emperor, because I think what the opponent's going to do is play one of these effects, get rid of the Samurai. Okay, this might be a great spot to stick this, actually. Oh, that sounded so bad. No, 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 Use, use your mana well and you should be okay. Eight life is not much. Yep, there's the borrowed time. There goes my samurai. Two cards left. It could be another touch the spirit realm, but the hesitation, you see that hesitation? They're scared. They should be. Definitely tells us that they don't have a solution to this right away. I hope you're ready to wait. You're done. I I mean, do we just get rid of this? Leave them on two cards? Otherwise, what's happening? They're attacking the Wandering Emperor? Pretty bad. All right. Uh, all creatures, all enchantments. Let's see. Do we need our graveyard for anything? It's a pretty good graveyard, but we don't need it. Let's hit the graveyard just in case they run like the new Paragon. I've seen some, I've seen some enchantment builds that run Paragon to cast spells from the graveyard. And then we'll plus here. Show them how we greet all right, what's your follow-up? Borrowed time. Okay. We'll we'll get that back. We can recover. The Silex can do this. Get me back, my wandering emperor, baby. Alright, they're drawn with plaza. I'm feeling mythic, bait. I'm feeling mythic. They played the Weaver right into the Silex and they either already knew they were scooping or they just, they were done. Maybe it was a mistake. All right, give it to me. All right, post-game wraps, Mythic profile rank check number 256. We arrived in Mythic, what is this? The 6th of September? Way earlier uh, than like the whatever it was last month. Uh, that's what happens when you have new cards and you're, you are enjoying the games. Uh, let's check out the stats powered by MTGA Assistant. Literally free. Check it out. Can I actually pull it up though? There we go. There we go. Is that no? No, that ain't it. That ain't it. Ah, got him. Oh, you saw all the games. So the math, if you didn't turn it off in that turn four smashing to mono red, which was, I think, like the second game we played, we did go seven and one. That was our only loss, an even split of on the play, on the draw, all you can ask for. And generally speaking, the deck did it, it did a lot worse. I mean, a lot worse uh, on ladder before, but I was trying everything I could. I tried all kinds of permutations in the build, and this is the first day and the first time I've played Karn Silex. You have now seen all eight of the games that I've had this card in any deck. I crafted it right before I started this video. Did it fix everything? Kind of. Um, the It felt like the card that gave me hope for so long was Pithing Needle, and I was up to four copies of Pithing Needle. Pithing Needle. Pith, pith, pithing Needle. And the Silex said, you can't run Pithing Needle anymore. But I 
think I underestimated how useful this is against Underdog. I think I also said something about Evolve Sleeper drawing cards. Evolve Sleeper can't draw cards with this on the battlefield because they have to pay life for that privilege. I'm sure there are other miscellaneous things. Leave them in the comments. What else does Karn Silex turn off? In this video, I felt like our opponents really thought they could just play around it. And what's great about it is if they just play a couple cheap things and then they don't play anything expensive, then you get to clear the board on a future turn for a very low cost. Like you saw us paying one or two for the Silex instead of like four, like a board wipe would normally cost. And that sets us up for situations where we can hold open mana for counterspell in addition to board wipe, which is the kind of situation that blue white wants to be in. I think smarter players will still play expensive things into the Silex to force you to use your whole turn and then they resolve their knockout blow, their Planeswalker, their Thundering Riju, their whatever, and you struggle. So I think that we caught some people off guard with new card powers. Other than that, this card is the great hope of the deck. Just drawing through your whole build and going into counter everything mode seems to be the only real hope that the deck has since it doesn't have a legit finisher. So devious cover up, getting back multiple wandering emperors until they succumb. It's, it's, it's what we've got. It's what we've got. I really need a Dream Trawler or just just give me some 5-5 five, five, like Ward 3 Life Linker. Something to really stabilize this battlefield in the colors of white and blue because I don't want to have to play other colors. I like these ones. Thank you for coming along for, I guess, what's kind of the traditional new set. Extra long mono, not mono. Come on, mono, mono deck destruction. Um, Extra long blue-white control video. That's what this was. The extra long blue white control video of the set maybe there'll be more to do with strict blue white but i have a feeling that most of my control shells will be of the domain variety but you know me i i switch it up try to keep you entertained thank you for watching this video as always i'll see you in the next video you're cool mm -hmm.